another day, another video filmed in the kitchen. <laughs> Today is Saturday and it is exactly six weeks out from show. Just can't believe it at this point. Like I've been working towards this all year and to think that I'm six weeks out, the excitement just keeps growing. I thought I'd explain what is happening for next week. We have decided that we are going to do a practice peak week. What that means is we are actually practicing what my physique will look like and the protocols of peak week. Um, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week, I'll be carb depleting. So basically it means no food, okay? Or very little food next week. Um, but that's okay because Thursday, Friday, we carve up. So that means we refill all those muscles and get juicy and jacked. And we have a little sneak peek and see how my physique looks for show day. I have a festival next Saturday. So I'm going to look great because I'm getting a tan. I'm getting my nails done. I'll be all glam. So it'll be good to actually see what I could potentially look like with all the tan and all the makeup and whatnot. But I'm also like... My energy is going to be meow by Wednesday. So hopefully having those two days carb ups, I'll be fine on Saturday to get to the festival. But I have no doubt I'll have a ball anyway because I love festivals and I love the whole getting ready and picking outfits and doing all that and doing all the glow ups. So I'm excited. Hi, it's Sunday. So I've just chopped up all my veggies for the week. I've chopped up and weighed all my chicken for the week. And I've just got everything out of the fridge and everything out of the cupboard so I can show you exactly what I'm going to have this week. All right, so this is what we've got for this week. All this. Okay, so let's start over here. So I have cut up my veggies for lunch and for dinner from Monday to Friday. All done. Cut up the chicken as well from Monday through to Friday for both lunch and dinner. Now, um, on Monday through to Friday, I'm having chicken breast every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm having chicken breast for both lunch and for dinner. However, on Friday, I'm having chicken breast, Friday, sorry, Thursday and Friday, I'm having chicken breast for dinner as well. But for lunch on Thursday and Friday, I get to have chicken thigh. Oh my God. I can't wait. And then there's just some extra chicken cut up for Natso as well. Okay, so I've made my breakfast for tomorrow. So for Monday, I've got shredded chicken for the rest of the week for my breakfast as well. Um, Thursday, Friday, I've got honey ham to put in my breakfast. Spinach. Now I've got sour cream and I'm going to make a sauce for my chicken for my lunches and my dinners I don't know how it's gonna go I'm gonna wing it but we're gonna do a good job okay I've got faith in myself mushrooms halloumi so getting my fats in I actually have been able to have this for lunch as well I've got cottage cheese that I'm gonna have on my corn thins at the end of the week i actually haven't been having corn thins or if you want to call them rice cakes or whatever i actually haven't really been having those during prep it's sort of like a fill in the gap when i need to sort of food i'm impressed with myself i haven't had as many rice cakes as i thought as of yet then i've got my apples to get my fruit in i've got my raspberries for my little smoothie um protein yogurt my egg whites and baby look at this rice i'm gonna have to dust off the freaking rice cooker because i cannot wait for thursday and friday and then so for lunch i'm going to be having honey soy sauce on my chicken thigh and my rice oh my god and i get to have potatoes i don't remember the last time i had freaking potatoes and then i've also got honey that i'm going to put on my halloumi for breakfast i have literally found the lowest carb lowest fat um hot chocolate i can find so i can still have my hot chocolates i will still continue to have my ice cream this is the one i've been having and also my hundreds and thousands
midway through my lunch and the chicken looks good and I decided with the sour cream that I'm going to make a sauce but it's not looking great so I think I'm just going to stack it and just bin it and just have the sour cream on its own because this doesn't look cute and I don't want to eat it. Okay, not gonna lie, it looks a little bit weird, like sour cream, halloumi, chicken, and carrots, but hey, food is food at this point, so hopefully it all tastes decent. Oh, I've just made my auto snack, which is my protein yogurt, raspberries, and just a little bit of milk, so I'm about to put this in the freezer so it gets all nice and crunchy. Um, I also decided to sack my protein yogurt this week, sorry, my protein jelly because I was only making, I was only going to be making three servings of it, right? And when I make it, I always make five servings. So it's Monday to Friday. And quite frankly, I was like, there's no point just having jelly. So instead I can either put the extra protein yogurt in here, which today I haven't done. So now as my Arvo snack, I'm just having just protein yogurt so a little bit boring but plain jane how i like it um but yeah that's about it so i'm about to have my arvo snack which is just going to be my yogurt and then pop this in the freezer and have it before dinner 427 deeply day two i've been up since 3 30. i woke up to pee i drank so much water yesterday I want to do a quick little prep update while I eat my lunch. So today is lunch. So we're deeply day two and I've just finished making my carrots, chicken and a little bit of halloumi. Yesterday I had this with sour cream. I tried to make a sour cream sauce and it didn't go too great. Um, fats. So I got the sour cream for aioli. Duh. Feeling good, actually. I am surprised. I was a little bit hungrier this morning than normal, um, but I drank about three liters of water yesterday, maybe a little bit more, considering um, I got through this bottle, which is two liters, and then I got halfway through it. But then also, while I'm at work, sometimes I have like hot water to keep me warm. <laughs> Sounds weird. I also have a glass of hot water when I wake up every morning. And then... Um, I have my magnesium and my zinc, which is also with water because I put a little dissolvable tablet. So I drink heaps of water. Also right now, sorry Natsu if you're watching this because the lady just rang me to pick you up from surgery and she was like, oh yeah, you can start to head in now. Meanwhile, I'm literally about to dish up my lunch and eat it. So if you're watching this, then you've probably waited an extra 10 minutes for me to pick you up. Sorry. Food means everything right now. Okay. So... I apologize, but love you. Good morning, deficit day three. Let's do this. I seen another drop in the scale today. My weight's been so stable over the last like week. It's if anything, I had a big drop and then it just slowly started climbing. And then today I've had a drop and it's a new low weight as well. As I am still just like it's confronting at this point. It's like I don't want the scale to drop anymore because it's like just yeah very confronting i'm at a very very low weight and it is not maintainable and i am feeling a little bit self-conscious about it now but this is the pointy end of it i've got one more day i'll probably see one more drop and then we start to carve up and fill up which is exactly what the goal is so we got this it's fine it's temporary i know that and we're doing exactly everything. I'm doing exactly everything that the coaches want me to do. So I'm putting trust and faith in them and it'll work out. Good morning, Deficit Day 4. say that we are halfway through my final day of my day plate i just finished my lunch which was good i had a little dilemma but it's okay i fixed it straight away and i didn't get mad i just thought about it for a sec i took a breath and we're good so i didn't unfreeze my chicken 
from the freezer last night. So that was a, yeah, a shock when I opened the fridge and my cut up chicken was not there to cook for my lunch. I was like, oh fuck. Anywho, lucky I had still had chicken in the fridge for Natto, which he hasn't eaten. So, sorry Natto. You can no longer have that chicken because I had it. So that was good. But I'm also going to wrap up this video right here because I'm going to do a part two and it's going to be my two day carb up. And I'm so keen. I'm literally, I've literally just cleaned the kitchen and I am about to dust off the rice cooker and uh, get cracking on the cooking for tomorrow and Friday. Oh, I can't wait. I'm probably going to cry because I won't be able to taste anything or anything until tomorrow. But anyways, it's all good. It's all happening. We are almost through my deeply day three. I'll see you in part two.